All right, so this is uh, the quad coil assembled. Let's go ahead. I have it hooked up parallel. Let's go ahead and do that one. Oh, let me turn the music down. We don't want any false jizzabots. All right, so we got an FS. Uh, the RE, of course, is 0.28 ohms. Sorry, not sorry. Um, let's see, what is the sensitivity? Sensitivity is 89. Actually, that's off. Usually it has to have the mass on first. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so 88.7. And the VAS is 3.28. So my prediction is that the thing that will change by wiring the voice, these are the voice coils in parallel, four one ohm voice coils in parallel. My prediction is that the, the SPL will change. Um, uh, it, will, it will go up a little bit higher. Now in like a competition, a one dB difference is a huge difference. And as far as performance goes, I don't think many people will be able to hear it, but you know, whatever. I think this is just a good test to see the differences so um, let me wire this the series real quick and then uh, we'll try the test again all right so I, I think I have it in let me get the mouse off so I think I have it in series so input output input output input output input and then return so let's try it again all right so those were the parallel ones and we're gonna go ahead and do it free air. Let's see if anything changes. Did the FS change? I think the FS changed a little bit, but we'll see. Mass is on. So yeah, it, the SPL changed slightly, but um, everything else is pretty much the same. So, um, let me tr you know what, let me try uh, just one coil. We can see what one coil looks like. Just so there's a, because when you wire them all in parallel, the wire is thicker, like it can handle more current, but again, in a coil magnet situation, that's not always, uh, <clears throat> it, 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 is that better for power handling? Technically, yes, but that's only if you push the limits of the coil and you shouldn't be pushing the limits of the coil anyway. Um, uh, it does it handle slightly more power in parallel correct it, it does but it's not as, as sensitive because there's not as long of a wire in the gap okay and that's that's all my argument it is right so BL product is B times L B is not changing in this all we're doing is changing L so when you do um, in parallel the the wire is like let's say one length right and if we do all the coils in series that's four times the wire length in the gap wired in series so we should see an in-between uh, if we do like a one ohm so uh, so quarter ohm one ohm and then four ohm so we just did four ohm uh, let's do the the in-between there should be an in-between result again that's my hypothesis let's test it all right so we have all the coils disconnected there we go and a noisy motorcycle uh, and so we just have one coil set up. Let's go ahead and run the test. Okay, it's reading one ohm. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Now, I am thinking about Greg's, um, what is it? His argument was it was within the um, like wiggle room, like, um, Sometimes the machine can be off by just a tiny little bit. So, margin of error, that's what it was. And there's the final. Okay, so there's the final. Uh, 83, I don't remember what the other one was. This is showing it actually 83 SPL, which is way off. Um, but uh, you can measure the QES. So yeah, I trashed uh, Pete a bit, uh, mostly because his part two video um, 
he, he doesn't really well again the description that I put in the link uh, pretty much says it all which was that I uh, I observed that he made a lot of assumptions based on his experience and based on what just because you have a like that's you know that's like saying you hate men because all men rape you know what I mean like that's that's not true but that may be your experience okay so I, I don't want to take away from his experience of being raped all the time uh, uh, I just I think some of the things that he says are putting the cart before the horse uh, and also that video just kind of sucks he doesn't really go over the TSPs and how they relate to things he just sort of bombards you with math uh, which is the vibe I've always gotten from him and the, the problem that I get from that too is um, he ends up uh, sort of displaying this I'm superior type of thing uh, which to me is just unattractive that's all um, but um, uh, as, a, as an intellectual but again I don't I don't want to make your opinion up for you that you can make your own opinion but that's what I got from the video so um, I'm gonna call these tests inconclusive uh, but I'm gonna go back and watch the video and see what the SPL reads again I, I did parallel versus series and then here's one um, I would love for somebody else smarter than me to explain uh, the differences so but if you look at the box requirement the box requirement stays the same which is always having a VAS of about 3.2 cubic feet but that's in order to hit 32 Hertz same so um, I would recommend anywhere from three to three and a half cubic feet for this um, and uh, I'm sure it'll make somebody happy running at uh, one ohm uh, in series parallel oh you know what let's try that let's try it in series parallel and see if there makes a difference all right, so my hypothesis is that the specs won't change. Um, now, technically, this sub would then handle more power um, uh, just because there are more windings in parallel. Uh, but the, the small parameters, meaning the small signal parameters, should not change because the mass hasn't changed, the uh, resistance hasn't really changed, but let's go ahead and check it out. So, oops, oh, I hit it twice. Okay, not a big deal. All right, and then the S pill we got with a one ohm was 83. So, measure the VAS. So now it's reading 88 again. So I feel like I should let me do one more thing. There's the there is the. It's reading 1.3. 3.2 still on the VAS. Same with the FS. Do this one live. Just so we can get this done. Uh, so um, let me choose the same coil. There we go. That should be it. Okay. So we'll take that off. Let's do this again. Free air. And then we'll do the VAS measurement. No, it dropped back down to 83. So uh, it was showing. So it's showing a sensitivity. So when uh, that's so that's news to me. Um, I thought for sure that the DCR uh, not changing wouldn't change the SPL, but apparently it is. So um, somebody other than Pete uh, would be great. I would love to see somebody from Northwestern University maybe chime in here. Uh, if you know somebody, talk to somebody. Uh, and let me know what you see going on. So, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching.